Welcome back, everyone. I've got some good news. I know some people in the comments were desperate for image to image, and thankfully, they brought in support for the FNet encoder. No sooner had I finished the video that I realized that I needed to go back and refactor things. So we've released a clean version without needing any uh, uh, additional custom nodes. Okay, for both versions there. And all it is is exactly the same as V16, but it doesn't use custom nodes for scaling. All right, it's not quite as smart. It just forces it to 1024. So you will need to use a square image, but we're going to cover how you can modify stuff like this quite easily. So I've updated the article. So we've got V10, the original text to image, V12, which has got no custom nodes, V16, which is the image to image I just released today, and V17, which is the exact same thing without custom nodes. I like to make a basic version that's clean for people um, so they don't have to mess around with custom nodes. But from now on, it's going to be custom nodes. And then back over here, we can see the various versions. So whichever one you want, you just click on it and then click download. Uh, V17 is the latest one. I think V16 is a little bit smarter because it's got a little bit, it's got a custom node for scaling. But, you know, if you have trouble with the custom nodes, you can still use V17. So let's jump in there. So here it is. Um, the only difference is, as I said, we've added in the model sampling. So you can change shift. Now, some people use three, some people use 0.8. Uh, the default is two, so I've left it on two for people to mess with. And the thing I wanted to quickly go over is a lot of people were falling over. Um, I made this mistake myself when I came to do the, uh, the conversion for uh, image to image. But basically, the thing that's funny about this system is we all think A, B, C. This is A. So stage A is VAE decoder, right? And then stage B goes in the second case sampler, which means that stage C goes into the first case sampler. And this is, I got this the wrong way around. Um, when I would come to do this modification, I also got this the wrong way around. But all it is, guys, it's really simple. If you go and get the FNet text encoder, sorry, the FNet encoder, which is on the stability GitHub, not the GitHub, it's on the hugging face. It's called FNet encoder. Put it in your VAE folder. All right. So uh, it'll go in the same folder as stage A. All right. Um, probably want to put a note there, actually, and update this. But yeah, basically, you put the FNet encoder into the VAE. All right. And this is only for encoding stage C. So what I've done is I've got a an image. Let's just change this image. Hello. So we've got image, and we'll change a heroic man in armor. I'm not going to change anything else. All right. And we've got it scaled to side. So just to just to catch if it's not actually a 1024. Um, I'm only using square images right now. I don't know if it's going to go weird if you try to give it a funny aspect ratio. It usually just squishes it funny. But um, to prevent skewing, I'm just using a square image for this setup. It's easy to change. So the latent gets encoded by FNet, and then it gets thrown into the first K sampler with stage C. All right. So if you put it into this one, it will give weird errors about dimensions and, and things, all right? Also, don't try to use the FNet as a decoder because it will just make garbage. All right, so with that said, let's generate an image. Another trick, of course, is uh, most people will try to use the denoise on here. That's not correct. You want to use the denoise on here to control the image-to-image uh, -image blending, all right? So just a reminder, this is what my image looked like. It's one of the old Jojo poses. And this is what I got. And this is at 2048. Obviously, you can play around with your CFGs and your steps. One other addition is I've made this, which is a shrink down to 1024. In fact, you know what? These require a custom node. So I might do a quick update because otherwise people are going to be wondering how. It's very simple, though. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do a quick update video for you guys. 
So you can find the image to image uh, workflow over here on Civit, and you can find it also linked in the article. Uh, open that one up there. This video will go in here too. And yeah, um, that has not dated for some reason. Anyway, so there you go. Thanks for watching. We'll be coming back next time with more Cascade.